Today, we're gonna to talk about indenting your code and how to do it the right way. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video is a pep talk for the beginners with some tips for some of you not so beginners out there. The topic is indentation, which is one of those topics that seems silly to those who aren't programmers, but create crazy holy wars. Speaking of which, where should the curly braces go? Ready? Go, down in the comments, fight. Just kidding, that's not what this video is about. My goal is to help not to fan the flames of eternal hatred. And while this might all seem obvious to some of you, I can't tell you how many times I see code that looks like this, or this, or maybe code that looks like this. And new students often think, it's no big deal. Trust me, your coworkers, to them, it'll be a big deal. But doesn't it all just compile the same and run the same in the end? Well, yeah, but that's not really the point. See, your teachers may have told you that programming your, your code, your program, is how you communicate with computers, and it is, but it's also how you communicate with yourself and with your coworkers, your team members, the other people who are working on the same project. Because someday, or maybe in 10 minutes, you're gonna have to update this code, change it, share it with somebody else who's working on the project with you, and indentation is going to help you both not to lose your minds in the process. The goal is to make our code as easy to parse quickly, as easy to easily understand, so we wanna be able to just look at it and see where it's going. We want this to happen as quickly as possible. So in case you're new to this, typically, we want all to make sure everything in a code block is all indented to the same level. As much as possible, you want to avoid line wraps, so a lot of programmers limit their lines to something like 80 characters or somewhere around 80. Remember that the goal is to be able to scan the code and understand it quickly. But this is where things start to get messy because everybody has their own favorite way to format code. Of course they do. Why would we be so naive as to think that we could all, like the whole world full of programmers, would all be able to agree on something like this and come up with some standard code format? Yeah, no, not a chance. So of course, everybody's got an opinion. Tabs or spaces? Should we indent two spaces, four spaces, eight spaces. Should we use lowercase, lowercase with underscores, camel case, reverse camel case? Wait, actually that's not a thing, at least Anything could be a thing. I hope that's not a thing. And yes, with all these opinions, I know I told you that I would tell you the right way to do this, and I will. But first and foremost, I want to just say that most of this stuff doesn't actually matter. And I'm sure I'm gonna hear about it down in the comments for saying this, but the most important thing in formatting your code and indentation is consistency. You wanna be consistent with yourself, and if you're working on a project with other people, you wanna be consistent across the project. For example, if you're working in the Linux kernel, well, have fun with that, but definitely check out the coding standard and the coding style recommendations because they definitely have their opinions over there and it's important because keeping things consistent allows your brain and the other brains that you're working with to not spend, not waste unnecessary cycles on understanding the formatting, the structure of your code. It allows those brains to get straight to understanding what the code does, how it works, and this means you're gonna get stuff done quicker and it's also gonna mean you're gonna have fewer bugs. And of course, that's a really nice thing. So consistency is crucial, but isn't it also super annoying if you switch from one project to another and they have totally different formatting guidelines and indentation styles, and now you have to change all your code or at least you have to change how you're used to doing things? Well, it's not that hard if you do it the right way. And the right way, in my opinion, is, well, just let me show you. Now, I've just added some really badly formatted code to an existing project. This is my uh, mapping of the heap video project. Definitely check out that video if you missed it. But let's say that I have some really badly formatted code, this bad.c here. Maybe I wrote it, maybe I got it from a coworker. Wherever it came from, it's a mess. And of course I could go through and reformat it by hand, but that's frustratingly terrible. And so the right way to indent your code really is to use a code formatter. For example, I can just come down here and I can simply run indent bad.c and let's put good.c because normally I would do this just in place, but I wanna actually show the before and after. So if I do it this way, basically you can see that I have this good.c over here and you notice that, hey look, it formatted it, it looks really nice. So indent, this program that I just ran is a code formatter that ships by default with a lot of systems, definitely all of the systems that I'm used to working with, like here on my Mac, it's definitely shipping with the command line developer tools. If you don't have it on your machine, it should be easy enough to find. But the point is, is we have tools for this. This just automatically reformatted my code. And maybe you look at this and you say, I don't think that's the way it should be formatted. So of course we can come down here and check out the man page for indent. And you're gonna see there are a whole lot of different options. And you can come down here and of course take all the time you want to check out each of these options and see what they allow you to turn on or off. You know, that way you can tweak it however you want to get the format you want. And that's great if you don't like the default way that it works. And of course, what this allows us to do is simply if we switch projects, 
we can just change the formatting style and reformat all of our code and we're on our way. And of course, indent isn't your only option. Another formatter is Clang Format. You can see in this case, it basically put the output to standard out. I can also specify which style I want here. So if I want, you know, the GNU style, here, let's open this up a little bit. Or if I want Google style, or maybe I want LLVMs, really minor differences there. But the point is you have a bunch of tools and if you're working in some language other than C and C++, there are formatters for any language out there that you're that you're working with. But of course, maybe right now you're thinking, isn't it a pain to run this command line tool every time that I make a change to my code? And yeah, it would if we did it this way. But instead, most of our editors allow us to set this up to automatically happen. So that's the case here. If I come in here to, let's come in here to bad2.c and if I simply just save it, you notice that it reformats everything. I can come in here and I can try to mess up my indentation. And if I save it, it just snaps right back just the way that I wanted it. And of course I'm using VS code, but you can do this on just about any other editor out there. So no excuses anymore. Next time you start a project with a bunch of people, just tell them what format you want them all to use. Once you agree on it, show them how to automatically set up the formatter in their editor so that everything gets formatted every time it gets saved. And now every code file in your entire project is going to be formatted the same way. And that's gonna give you a safer, saner, just much more wonderful experience. So I hope you learned something today. Please do like, subscribe, click all the links, check out all the different stuff. A huge thanks to all of you who do, those of you who support the channel, especially those who support on Patreon. And until next week, I'll see you later.